But yesterday on my blog, um, I said that I'd had an idea that was really exciting about when I go on holiday. You might not think it's exciting, but I'm easy pleased. Um, and I really want to keep some kind of notebook or doodle book while I'm away, because it's not something I ever do. I've only ever done it once, and that was when I went on a trip when I was studying, and we were compelled to do it to the point where as they were nearly checked every hour on the hour. <coughs> um, because it technically was a study trip, but so I did. I don't even know where it is. I was looking for it before, and I still kept it, but I can't find it. That's how underwhelmed I am with it. So I think doing one because you want to, and doing one because you've got to. There's a difference, and I'm hoping that I can put one together on this trip that pleases me. Um, so what I'm these. My husband went out to buy something that we needed last week or the week before. And men, when you send men shopping, they always bring the wrong thing back, don't they? Well, he didn't. He brought the right thing back. But he also brought me these from a charity shop, a thrift shop. 25p, 40p. I don't know why that one was a pound. But anyway, so very, very cheap children's books. So you might be aware, if you're a follower of my blog, I've got enough ledgers here now to last me for the rest of my life, probably. But if you're a follower of my blog, you might know that I like to take books that are children's books and kind of work in them on the pages and um, so that's what I thought one of those little books that Paul bought for me I could use um, as a kind of a travel journal so that's one I've done already that's a Swedish one this is a Swedish one as well just to give you a quick look I mean there won't be any embroidery going into this one because I'm not taking any embroidery stuff with me because I don't honestly think I'll get chance to do anything like embroidery but you know hopefully I'll get a few little doodles jotted down so I took one of the children's books that he bought me and I kind of put it together like a bit of a ledger so I put a little envelope there in case I want to put any tickets or anything in stuck it in I've got elastic bands are very useful for holding things in books so I've got like a little lift up flap there and I've got some scraps of paper there in case I want to draw on something different to white paper. I'm securing that with elastic bands, but I only really need one there, but they're spare ones. I've got paper clips at the top of some of the pages. And I've stuck in scraps of paper to draw on and to doodle on different surfaces. So hopefully, who knows, I'm not saying it's going to be, there's a bit of wallpaper there. I'm not saying it's going to be the best travel journal you've ever seen. I've got more paper clips as well. But, and then blank paper. And then at the back, I've got that pinned in. So I'm not saying it's going to be the best travel journal you've ever seen. But I am hoping that I do kind of get something down in here in terms of doodling. And I've got loads of small little bits here in case I need extra pages. Loads of small pages cut there. And then I've got a little pocket on the back that I've put on and some tissue paper in there. So, you know, fingers crossed. I mean, I've got the tools now, so I've got no excuse, really. If I don't at least do one half decent page, um, I'll be asking myself some questions. And just pencils. I'm just taking pencils, nothing else. And my glue stick. Because and I'm also thinking, if I get tickets and things from anywhere... Things like that, just, you know, keep a record of this trip. Um, so hopefully, when I come back, I'll be able to show you this and there'll be some stuff in it. Um, and But don't forget, I'm not saying it's going to be the best one you've ever seen. But, you know, if it pleases me and it serves the purpose of recording little, even thoughts, um, little pictures of something I might see. So that was my plan and that's what's got me excited. So that's ready now. Oh, now one elastic band slapped or, snapped already I haven't left the country yet so that's a good sign isn't it um, so I'm excited about it because you also get like in some stores little tiny business cards from the store that are quite interesting and things so I'll be keeping them hopefully and putting them in somehow but it's quite big or it's going to go in my handbag um, so with a pencil um, and I won't take the glue stick out with me, but I can do that in a hotel overnight, can't I? So that was it. That was my idea. So I hope you think it was worth sharing. Um, no pressure now, Karen. But for personally, from my own point of view, even if I only get, say, this 
one page done. I'll still show you when I come back, but hopefully I'll get more than that in there, and it'll, you know, it'll have quite a nice picture of what I've done over the two weeks I'm away. Okay. Actually, before I go, I've got tickets to go and watch the filming of James Corden. So that'll be the first thing that gets stuck in here. I imagine if they take it off me, it won't. But hopefully they won't take it off me, they'll just scan it and give me it back and that can go in there as well. So 